Hey Book Dragons, welcome back to my channel. It's time for me to recommend some other booktubers for you to check out. Let's go. Thank you to my patrons. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. One of the things I love about the BookTube community is you get to make so many wonderful friends. I can't count on both of my hands how many friends I have made in this community, how many friends that I, I feel very well connected to and just have a great time talking with. And today I wanted to highlight some of the booktubers that I think are very underrated. Uh, now, this is not by any means an exhaustive list. Uh, there are so many other booktubers that I could talk about that I think you should check out. I picked these booktubers based on the fact that they are under a thousand subscribers, many of them actually under 500 subscribers. I would really like to put them out there in front of you and give you a chance to check out their channel. I, I have a lot of great booktube channels that are over a thousand subscribers that I could recommend to, but I wanted to focus on these. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and you enjoy my content. If you like this video, please give it a like. The first channel on my list is Into the Heart Wild. Alyssa has such a great channel. She has a lot of great content. She's got an absolutely fantastic personality. Her love for books shines through in every one of her videos. And, uh, you know, her laugh is contagious. And just, I, I really am surprised she does not have more subscribers. Uh, she reads a pretty wide variety of fiction although she tends to gravitate to fantasy, which, uh, of course, a lot of booktubers do. Uh, she does read anywhere from middle grade to YA to adult fantasy, uh, you know, some science fiction, things like that. So um, really broad range of content on her channel, and I think you should check her out. The next one I want to talk to you about is Nat Cat's Bookish Cafe. Uh, she is a fairly new booktuber. Uh, she does a lot of long-form videos, which is really cool uh, because, you know, you, you, can, you can put her on in the background. She's got a, a, a very engaging voice, and, uh, you know, you can put her on in the background if you want to and listen to her talk about books while you're doing other stuff, but also if you want some really great scenery some of the vlogs she does are are really great so i i highly recommend checking out her channel and the next channel i'm going to talk about is distilled reads uh, she's also a fairly new booktuber i i believe one thing that is great about her channel is she always showcases a drink that she's made while she's talking about books so right at the beginning of her videos uh, she will tell you all about the drink she's made. Oftentimes it's a cocktail, and so you know it's a definitely an adult beverage. There's some good liquor involved, and uh, all of her drinks that I've seen on her channel so far look really yummy, and I would love to try one. I need to try and get more into that myself. I'm not a big liquor drinker, though, so I have to, I have to be in a mood for it, but I, I would love to get some recipes for cocktails to make and try out and she inspires me in that but also she's just got some really great bookish content uh, her, her videos are really high quality you, you can tell and great personality again so I, I highly recommend that you check out distilled reads the next one I want to talk about is RJ reads RJ is just a real delight He's just got some really great content. His sense of humor is great. He's got kind of this dry sense of humor that really shines through. And I highly recommend you check out RJ Reads. He's well-loved in the community as well. So a lot, a lot of people will, 
will confirm what I just told you, that he's just this great guy. So uh, check out RJ's channel, okay? The next channel I want to talk about is Tome Raider. Uh, now, Tome Raider is hosted by Mel. Mel is just a really fantastic, really personable and friendly person. Um, she's got a lot of great content from a wide variety of genres, not just fantasy. There's, uh, there's some romances sprinkled in there. She's got a few nonfiction books in there. Uh, she reads a lot of books that focus on people of color, which I love because I'm always wanting some good recommends as far as books that showcase people of color and, and highlight their struggles and things like that. And uh, I can always find some good recommends on her channel for that. So uh, I highly recommend that you check out Tome Raider. I also need you to check out Adam Rodriguez. Uh, Adam has a really wide variety of content on his channel as well. He talks about some comics. He talks about horror stuff. He, he talks about a lot of obscure books that I really haven't heard about before sometimes. And uh, he... He's got a really cool personality. He's just a really fun guy. Uh, I've enjoyed a lot of the tags he's done and some book reviews and all of his content is just really good. I'd also like you to check out Book Cara. Danielle is just really fantastic. Uh, she's got a really cool TBR game that she does. Uh, I haven't seen her do it real recently, but um, yeah, I've loved her TBR game in the past. Uh, I've found some good, really good recommendations from her on her channel. I still need to get to A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Hartness because I keep seeing that pop up on her channel. And so it's about time I actually get down and read that series. Uh, she does some great reading sprints with some other booktube friends of hers uh, fairly regularly. So if you like to do reading sprints, you can jump in on those as well. The next one I'm going to tell you about is Chrissy's Purple Library. Chrissy is just an absolute gem on BookTube. She's got a great personality. She's really funny. She has a lot of self-deprecating humor on her channel. You know, she'll, she'll be going along talking about something in one of her videos and then she'll realize that she messed up a little or whatever and she's like, I'm a professional, guys. You know, it, it's, just, it's just really down to earth. She's really fun to watch. Uh, she has a lot of great books that she talks about on her channel. And uh, her, her personality is just bubbling off the screen, guys. I highly recommend that you check out Chrissy's Purple Library. She doesn't get as much love as she deserves. <laughs> Mason in the Dark is the next one. Uh, Mason is a blind booktuber. Uh, he just has some really great content. Uh, every one of his videos is just this black screen, uh, you know, because it's Mason in the dark. You're just watching this blank screen and listening to him. Um, you know, his videos are really great for, for listening while, while you're maybe working on something else as well. Uh, he has a lot of original stories that he showcases on his channel, stories that he's written. He's narrating them for you on those videos. He's got some great videos on little known facts about blind people or some common assumptions that actually aren't true about blind people. And, and he has this really funny way of presenting his content that is just really endearing and really positive and uplifting. And uh, I, I can always count on Mason to give me a laugh and uh, lighten my mood if, I, if I'm feeling down. Mason's just really great for that. So highly recommend you check out Mason in the Dark. The next one I'm gonna talk about is Sabriel's Bell. Uh, she's been around BookTube for a long time and I'm really shocked that she doesn't have more subscribers. I, I really am. Uh, she's uh, a teacher, I, I believe, and she showcases a lot of different books from a lot of different genres. A lot of them are fantasy or supernatural related, but she has other books on her channel as well. 
she showcases some kids' books and middle grade, young adult, adult fantasy and science fiction. She's just got this catchy personality in the way that she presents her stuff. And I would really love to see her get more attention on BookTube. I really would. Uh, she's got such a fun channel. So uh, I highly recommend her. She's also got a really fun TBR game that she does. So uh, if you like TBR games, there is another channel for you to watch. So next we have J.R. Carroll, uh, or Joseph Carroll. His pen name is J.R. Carroll. He is also an author. He's a great booktuber as well. He has a lot of great Dresden content for the Dresden Files. And I've, I've joined him on numerous live streams talking about the Dresden Files. Uh, he is just a lot of fun to talk with and engage with on BookTube. He's also focusing a lot on the Cradle series. So if you're a fan of Cradle, uh, you definitely need to check out his channel because he's focusing a lot on that right now as well. So make sure that you check out JR and see if you'd like to subscribe to him. And I've got one more on the list and then I'm going to talk about an honorable mention. The last one on this list is Angie the Bookaholic. I love Angie's channel so much. Uh, she talks about a lot of different series. Uh, she she does some nonfiction, some mystery, a lot of fantasy, uh, some comic books as well, graphic novels. Uh, she's got some great content on uh, the Watchmen graphic novel if you've ever read Watchmen or if you've had it on your list but haven't checked it out. Uh, you could look into that. She's done some really great reviews like she has a review on the Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz and uh, some other great content as well, Realm of the Elderlings. I really highly recommend that you check out Angie's channel. Uh, she's a lot of fun to talk to and she puts a lot of work into her videos and she's just got a great personality. I'm, I, can, I say that about all these booktubers. Their, their personalities are just great and I think that really makes a difference when you're on YouTube and when you're in uh, a, a forum like this where you're seen by thousands if not millions of people personality goes a long way so I'm um, I will be shocked if these booktubers that I mentioned in this video today do not click with you I, I just really enjoyed their content and I hope that you check them out I did say I have an honorable mention and I do and I'm putting it as an honorable mention because this is a personal friend of mine. She's new to BookTube and that is Mona Lisa Reads. I would love for you to check her out, show her some support. Uh, she's got a few videos up on the channel already. She's just a really awesome person and she's a huge lover of books. Please check Mona Lisa Reads out. Uh, watch her videos. Subscribe if you enjoy her content. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's all I've got to say there. Let me know in the comments what you think about some of the booktubers I mentioned. Are you already a follower? Have you not heard of them before? Maybe you can recommend to me some new booktubers that you've encountered that maybe I haven't heard about yet. That would be awesome. I always love to check into other channels, new channels and support them, especially smaller booktubers. I, I love to promote smaller booktubers and make sure that they get seen by more people. So let me know in the comments. Until the next video, make sure you are reading more books. I'll talk to you soon.